Does your 3D printer purchase qualify for the R&D tax credits? Yes. Yes, it does. Almost definitely. If you or your company are using a 3D printer or considering a purchase or you've been using one for a while, you are entitled to federal and state R&D tax credits as well as Section 179, which I'll get into in just a few minutes. Most companies doing 3D printing right now are not taking advantage of this whole deal. In fact, the Wall Street Journal estimates that only 5% of the companies that are eligible for an R&D tax credit are actually using it. So the US R&D tax credit is available for employee activities related to new and improved products and new and improved processes. Most of you, if not all, buy a 3D printer to improve some kind of process in your business. Whether it's R&D, prototyping, or production, this all makes you eligible for the tax credits. From a survey conducted by Sculptio, they actually found out that the main use of 3D printers in almost every company is proof of concept and prototyping. Now, 80% of enterprises use it to innovate faster, and 51% of enterprises surveyed are actively using 3D printing in production. Okay, so, the R&D tax credit, what is it? Enacted in 1981, the Federal Research and Development Tax Credit allows for a credit of up to 13% of eligible spending for new and improved products and processes, specifically for new and improved products, processes, or software, projects that are technological in nature, elimination of uncertainty in certain processes. This includes using our 3D printing service here at Vision Miner. Uh, to test if it's going to work for you, uh, the process of experimentation, the eligible costs include employee wages, the cost of supplies, the cost of testing, contract research expenses, and costs associated with developing a patent. On December 18th of 2015, Obama actually signed a bill to make the R&D tax credit permanent. Beginning in 2016, you can now use the R&D tax credit to offset alternative minimum tax, and startup businesses can utilize the credit against $250,000 per year in payroll taxes. So along with the 3D printing hardware and material purchases, if you're a first-time buyer, there's a whole section in this R&D tax credit for you. So on top of all that, we have section 179. Now, if you're liking this content, please hit that like button as it helps other people find this video and subscribe if you really enjoy our stuff. But essentially, section 179 of the IRX tax code allows businesses to deduct the full purchase price of qualifying equipment and or software purchased or financed during that tax year. That means that if you buy or lease a piece of qualifying equipment, like a 3D printer, then you can deduct the full purchase price from your gross income. Several years ago, Section 179 was often referred to as the SUV tax loophole or the Hummer deduction because many businesses, uh, they used it to write out the purchase of qualifying vehicles. Now, uh, that particular benefit of Section 179 has been severely reduced in recent years, so they're yeah, probably not gonna get a free Cybertruck out of this one, but there's still benefits. Uh, <laughs> In, in recent years, when your business would buy any qualifying equipment, it typically wrote off a little bit at a time through depreciation. In other words, if your company spends $50,000 on a machine, it gets to write off, say, $10,000 a year for the next five years, as an example. Now, most business owners would really prefer just to write the whole thing off in one go the year that they buy it, right? You know, it's like, okay, let me go buy a machine, and then that's $50,000 less in revenue that I have to pay taxes on. And that's exactly what Section 179 does. It allows your business to write off the entire purchase price of qualifying equipment for the current tax year. This has made a huge difference for many companies and the economy in general. Businesses have used Section 179 to purchase needed equipment right now instead of waiting. So well, Section 179 does have a couple limits. There's some caps to the total amount that you can write off, uh, which is 1.04 million for 2020, and limits to the total amount of the equipment that can be purchased, which is $2.59 million in 2020. The deduction begins to phase out on a dollar by dollar basis after the 2.59 million is spent by any given business and thus the entire deduction goes away once 
you've reached the $3.63 million. Uh, so that's definitely a true small and medium sized business deduction. You're a guy in a garage running something going on, or you're a bigger company under $50 million in revenue, it applies to you. Now, all businesses that purchase, finance, and or lease new or used business equipment during tax year 2020 should pretty much qualify. There's even a deduction calculator, so check out the link in the description and see how much you could save. For example, on a FundMat HT Enhanced, you could save over $2,500 in taxes, and the 410 at 30K, you can save over $10,000. Uh, it's even more on the Aeons and the HSEs and the other printers we offer. Uh, it's definitely a really good investment right now. So let's get into a little more of the juicy details. How are 3D printers used in ways that qualify for this? I mean, the number of innovative uses for a 3D printer is expanding daily, literally, and the specific credit eligible activities is virtually limitless. Now, here's a few ways that other companies are already getting the credits. One, we've got manufacturing. So 3D printing for a long time has been expected to completely revolutionize traditional production processes from end use parts to tooling and jigs and fixtures and other manufacturing support. Next, we've got software. Advanced scanning and or CAD design programs are almost always used. And, and it's not only the purchase of the software, but the, the wages for the person using the software. And all of that qualifies. We've got huge stuff going on in the medical industry. Uh, and they're developing all kinds of new prosthetic limbs, prosthetic ears, even kidneys and other organs. And a group of Italian researchers estimate artificial eyeballs will be available by 2027. Uh, you know, at Vision Miner, in our high performance print service, we see all kinds of tools, surgical guides, implants, and all, even models being printed on a daily basis. Um, in materials development, uh, well, materials in general, materials consumed during the R&D activities are considered qualified research expenses. For all prototypes, mock-ups, experimental products created by your 3D printers, these materials used are eligible for the credit. 3D printed materials, depending on what you're doing, include plastics, metals, charged plastics, resins, multicolored materials, and even ceramics. So whether you're developing a patent or researching new concepts for your future projects or designing and developing prototypes for new projects or experiment, doing experimental coding for new or improved software or uh, developing new manufacturing process for your current products or new products, performing beta testing on experimental products, outsourcing to third party software engineers to create new software, all of these activities may be able to get you a significant tax cut or tax credit at the end of the year. So if you're not already, definitely check out the site and get started with 3D printing in one way or another. I don't even care, just get that money, baby. There's so many ways you can use this stuff. It's really, really awesome. Anyway, go leave a comment down below if you have any questions about these tax credits or give us a call, we'll help you out. Then let us know what you thought of this video. At Vision Miner, we specialize in functional 3D printing, especially high-performance plastics like Peak, Ultem, PPSU, and more. If you're into high-performance 3D printing for materials in your business, feel free to reach out and we can help you make the right choice for your application, even if it's not something we cover or carry. Anyway, thanks for watching, have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video.